Hello boys and girls. As you can see, I have my hat on today because I have just heard that we've got an extra two weeks of lockdown. So I'm sulky. I'm sulky. I'm putting my hat on, pretending that I'm going outside because I can go outside in my head. And what am I gonna do to change my sulkiness? Missing all of my teaching friends, missing all of my pupil friends. What am I going to do? How can I change this? Ah, remember? We are breathe and relax. So maybe what I can do is I can breathe. I can close my eyes, relax my shoulders, breathe in, and out. Breathe in. Gee, I'm already feeling better. Remember, we used to breathe about six, sometimes eight, sometimes even ten breaths if we needed to. And now when I'm breathing and I feel more relaxed, I can think better. Hmm. And I think that this lockdown's for the best. It's to keep you safe, keep mom and dad safe, keep me safe. So yeah, I shouldn't be sulky about it. No, no, I think I have to be happy about it. Okay. So how can I make myself happy if I'm sulky? Hmm. Let me think, let me get creative in my thought, let me step and think, you know what makes me happy? When I do something nice for somebody else. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to phone a friend who I know is really lonely. I'll have a lovely chat to her. We can remember the last time we went out and we can have a good old laugh. What do you think you could do? Could you make mom happy by taking out the rubbish? Maybe tidying your room? Can you make a cup of coffee or tea for mom or dad? I don't know if you can go as far as a foot rub. Ah, what about doing something kind for your brother or your sister? Hmm. And Try that. I challenge you. Do one or two nice things and see if it will take you from sulky to smiley. Happy. Because when you make somebody else happy, you will feel happy too. Otherwise, you could do a beautiful drawing. So that coffee mug or teacup that you were going to make the tea or coffee for mom and dad, you could draw that mug and draw the most amazing picture on it telling mom and dad how you love them. Or even granny. And even if Granny's not there, you could draw a picture and maybe show her online. How about that? There's some ideas for you. Send you loves and hugs and can't wait to see you again.